So according to the astronomer Phil Plate, an asteroid just six miles wide is big enough to completely wipe out humanity. Yep. Now imagine astronomers today discover that a planet-sized killer asteroid is just bearing down on the Earth. Could we stop it? How? It's the only way to be sure. One obvious choice would be nuclear weapons. Let's just nuke it from orbit, right? But this time, it's not the only way to be sure, because you see, hitting an asteroid dead on with a nuclear warhead might just break it up into smaller fragments that still hit the Earth at multiple points. So a better idea might be for us to detonate a nuke near the asteroid and push it to one side or another so that its trajectory changes and it completely misses our planet. there's an even more old-fashioned idea than nuking something, and that's kinetic impact. Essentially, you deflect the incoming object by slamming another incoming object into it. Scientists have done this before. You guys, in 2005, the Deep Impact mission, I see what you did there, NASA, altered the trajectory of a comet by hitting it with an 816-pound probe flying at five miles per second. There are other more laid back ideas. I mean, we could just let the sun blow the asteroid away. You see, a solar sail takes advantage of radiation pressure, that slight push of the sun's energy against the reflective surface. If we have enough lead time, we could send out probes to cover the asteroid with mirrored sails, foil, or reflective paint, and then let the sun just sort of push it away over the course of several decades. Researchers in Beijing came up with this plan in 2011 to redirect the Apophis asteroid. Now, here's something, I mean, you already know this, all objects with mass have gravity, even an object as small as a spacecraft. So if we put a heavy enough probe in a close enough orbit around an asteroid, the gravity of this probe would slowly pull the asteroid off course like a tractor pulling a heavy trailer. A gravity tractor, that's the name of it. British company Eads Astrium started developing one of these probes in 2009. But just remember, this method also depends on a long forewarning before a collision. There's another idea. Many asteroids contain frozen substances, right? So with some intense heat, these could be made to melt or evaporate. By aiming a high-powered laser or focusing the sunlight with angled mirrors at one side of the asteroid, some scientists think they can cause frozen parts of the asteroid to erupt into gas jets that will act like rocket propellant, pushing the asteroid in the opposite direction. Pretty clever, huh? I mean, if it works. Thanks for watching. Check out our article on HowStuffWorks.com to learn more about saving the planet from killer asteroids. But enough about us. What do you think is the best way to stop a killer asteroid? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more What the Stuff.